Hello, I'm Richard Chambers, President and CEO of the Institute of Internal Auditors. On a recent trip to Paris, I arrived at the airport on the first day of a taxi strike protesting Uber, the rival upstart that has upended historical urban transportation services. With no taxi service available, I ended up taking the metro from the airport to the station closest to my hotel. Suffice it to say, it was no treat trudging the last mile on the city streets with luggage in tow, even a city as beautiful as Paris. The experience got me to thinking about disruptive innovation and the risk it poses to organizations beyond obvious issues of competition. It also got me to thinking about how disruptive innovation could impact internal audit and our areas of responsibility. The Uber phenomenon has sparked considerable debate among economists and academics about whether the on-demand taxi service fits the definition of disruptive innovation. Even the author of the theory, Clay Christensen, has weighed in, co-authoring an article for the Harvard Business Review where he explains why the Uber model isn't disruptive innovation. But the bigger picture here is less about defining what model a rival business fits into and more about how the breakneck speed of today's technology and innovation is making risk associated with technology-driven competition more prevalent than ever. Certainly, the biggest risk is failing to respond to disruptive competition, no matter what it is labeled. Internal audit must be cognizant of its role in helping the organization prepare for competitive threats. Christensen's seminal work on business disruption, The Innovator's Dilemma, not only identifies where competition can emerge and how to respond to the threats, but also warns of the danger of inaction. An organization must create a system or process to identify risk associated with disruptive competition, as well as the risk associated with renovation and innovation within the organization designed to stave off such challenges from upstarts. In other words, a strategy of adopting cutting-edge technology or innovative business models carries its own risks, and good internal audit functions must provide assurance on how such strategies fit in to the organization's overall risk appetite. This is essentially a balancing act that must be carefully choreographed in cooperation with management and the board. In the 1990s, internal audit faced its own test, where the practice of outsourcing work was viewed as a threat to the profession. Today, most internal audit functions embrace the concept, often using co-sourced or third-party services to ease the workload or fill in talent gaps in specialized audit areas. A recent CBOC report on third-party service use confirmed that the practice is now commonplace. The lesson from this example is that a profession can adapt to and incorporate technology or new business models once viewed as threats. But the speed of technological change and therefore competitive threats today are happening at light speed compared to the 1990s. The author of a recent guest column in the Washington Post argued that parsing on whether Uber fits into a disruptive innovation model is beside the point. Google, SpaceX, Apple, and others are using technology to innovate in ways that will rewrite competition across multiple industries. As the author noted, disruption is no longer something that can be handled by a new division or department. This again poses an opportunity for internal audit to provide insight and foresight to its stakeholders. As the area most likely to have an enterprise-wide view of the organization, internal audit can offer a valuable perspective to help develop strategies and the processes to address disruptive innovation. I should note here that internal audit can benefit from disruptive innovation itself. Beth Mara Kessler, the innovative CAE at Campbell's Soup Company, preaches the benefits of disruptive chaos within the internal audit function. She warns that internal audit can become irrelevant if it doesn't embrace and encourage innovation in internal audit's approach to its own work. I'm Richard Chambers, President and CEO of the Institute of Internal Auditors.